front where it says Ames real big. Well, everyone, I'm out here in North Fayette, a.k.a. Robinson Township, and I wasn't expecting to see this. Quaker Steak and Lube is closed. I came out here to actually check out one of the other restaurants, which I knew was closed and was potential of, for a video, but that was that building there that's becoming Texas Roadhouse. So we're getting a Texas Roadhouse out here, which is cool. I like their food. Still not... Uh, genuine Texas cuisine, but it's the closest thing you can get when you're not in the uh, Lone Star State, so it'll do. But anyway, Quaker Steak and Lube. I had no idea it closed. Uh, it, from what I'm understanding, it closed in the fall around Halloween. There's Halloween stickers in the doors. And, well, I wasn't planning on doing a video of it, but I guess I am now. Well, there is the joint. I didn't know I'd be doing a video of this place. I love this place. I love Quaker Steak and Lube. Their food's really good. There's one in Columbia, South Carolina that Mary and I went to. One of the first times I ever went down there, and the food was fantastic. Service was not the greatest, but that's a, that's besides the point. The food was great. And, yeah, wow, yeah, they really tore that. They really hit it with the hind. Holy smokes. That's unbelievable. Let's go take a look at the doors. I'm surprised. They didn't take that sign down, but they they painted over where it said the lube on that wall there, and I'll show you that in a minute. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, you see all the uh, Halloween window clings on there, but check this out. After 25 years. I don't know of any other locations in Pittsburgh. No, there's the one in Erie. I assume that one's still open. It's been a long time since I've been to that one. Pull up that on the window for Halloween. That's, that's bathrooms here, guys, gals. I'm just blown away by that because I didn't I didn't know that this was closing at all. Play here, lottery. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a walk around the place. Yeah, that's nice though that we're getting that over here. Not that we need another one because we have like 10 of them around here, but that's the new Texas Roadhouse coming along. It's almost done. Car. It's a busy parking lot because of Chick-fil-A, which is literally right over here. But anyway, let's take a walk around this place. Yeah, before I forget, too, there's where it said the lube on this wall right here. Not anymore. That's unbelievable. It seems awfully blue, but it's not. It's just, it's getting dark a little bit earlier tonight because of the weather. Clouds rolled in. It was a nice day. It was hot. It was like 87, high humidity. Here's their drive through here, pickup window come up to this window here pick up your food not anymore not much you can see going on in there that is a darn shame I like Quaker steak and lube I really do and people like blowing their horns around here too Quaker steak and lube pick up window see you wouldn't have thought that this was closed on the street they even have this here I know the letters are missing on that side, but on this side, I guess some of the letters, you know, missing, but I didn't think it was closed as I drove up the street here, and then I saw that, and I'm like, what? They're closed? So, let's take a walk back here. Right along the busy roadway. I guess this was outdoor seating over here. Not much going on in here. A lot of trash. Awesome. Yeah, their outdoor patio. I assume that's what this was. 
yeah they have a heater lights a fan I'm sure that's what that was for zoom in this way you can light it up just a smidge that garage door really makes it difficult we'll go over here where we have a better chance love that the fan is hard and <laughs> That <laughs> thing's seen better days. Oh man, even that with the bird's nest in it. That's awesome. Here's a bar. There's their bar here. Anyway, I had to I had to send a picture of that to Mary. That's hilarious. <laughs> Thing got a lot of miles on it. Thing got more miles on it than the bee friend. Anyway, maybe we can see in here without all that light keeping me from being able to see. Yeah, there's a nice little bar here. This reminds me of the bar area at the Columbia location. I love that location. They have a bowling alley in there, an arcade. It's attached to a um, a travel center. There's all kinds of stuff going on in there. A travel uh, plaza, yeah, arcade, bowling alley. And the restaurant was good. It was just our, our service could have been a lot better. But we had a nice dinner, and that's what counts. We had a nice meal, even though it took a while. Um, mainly because uh, they were very unorganized. That's what took a while. It's not that they were busy, because they weren't at all. But you have that sometimes. But that I can't I just can't get over that, man. That that hurts. I love this place. I guess my close my next best bet to have it is Erie, if it's still open. I think it is. I don't go on Peach Street every time I go up to Erie. I don't go past it every time because it's right near I-90. And I usually don't go down that way all the time. And I guess if I don't go to that one, Columbia, it is. Hopefully the service will be better. Anyway, that's a wrap. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up. Oh, look at this, they have parking for handicap and combat wounded right here. That's nice, they even have it painted on the ground. Check that out. Very nice touch, I like it. So, and they have more handicap parking over there, but yeah, that's a bummer. Hopefully something good will go in this place. It's in a prime shopping area for the, uh, for the township, so. This is the busiest shopping area in Pittsburgh besides Cranberry Township, honestly. You got the airport not too far away. You got the massive Walmart right over there that still sports the 80s facade in the middle, and they just built up onto it and around it. And, well, you see we're getting a Texas Roadhouse out here, so prime area. And the Chick-fil-A is relatively new, too. That only opened up a handful of years ago. So... Yeah, prime real estate out here, so I'd like to see something move in here instead of it just sitting here empty. Because a lot of abandoned places out here don't sit empty for long. I know TGI Fridays is still abandoned out here, but aside from that, it's booming out here. Even the mall. The mall's not doing too bad either. The mall at Robinson. I know it's gone downhill in the last few years, and there's a few more vacancies, but I would like to think that it's still hanging on because it's a nice mall. I've always liked that place a lot. So, looking forward to Texas Roadhouse. We'll have to try it out one of these nights when they uh, finally open up, whenever that might be. It looks like it's going to be relatively soon. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, you know what to do. On that note, I'm taking off. I am hungry. I want to get something to eat while I'm out here. So, all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and stay awesome. Bye-bye. Thank you.